we're going to start off today with a general overview of Word as a whole. Uh, Word is what's called a word processing program. Um, and that's a little different than just a text editor. It's, it's not only for in entering text, typing text, but it's also for formatting text. That's the processing part of it. Making the text look the way that we want it to before we print it out or email it to someone or whatever the finished result is going to be. Let's start off by looking at the interface though. I'm going to launch Word here by clicking on it in my dock. And the first thing you'll see it takes me to is this Word document gallery. Now I have a whole bunch of templates and things that I can work with. I can see them listed over here on the left, calendars, stationery, all sorts of things. Um, for this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at a blank Word document. That will be the, the one that's selected by default the first time you launch it. Uh, if you've clicked something else since then, you'll need to click back up on this one that says Word document. You can either double click it or you can select it and you can see it's got this orange box around it which tells me it's selected and then I can click choose down here. Now this opens a blank Word document. Down here in this large area, this is my workspace. So this is my paper, my page that I'm going to be writing on. And we're going to be talking about some different views that are available within Word in just a minute. Um, one thing though, you can see that I can scroll over here. I've got the scroll bar to go up and down and I've got the scroll bar to go side to side. I'm zoomed in quite a bit on my page, so I'm not actually seeing the whole thing. Now the default view for Word is what is called print layout view. Print layout view looks just like a piece of paper. You can see up here at the top, I've got the top of my page. Over on the right, I've got the right of my page. If I scroll to the left, I've got the left of my page. It looks like a piece of paper basically laying on a gray desk. Now, I want to zoom so that I can see my whole page. Now, that may not be how you want to work, and that's fine, but we're going to just show you how to zoom in. My zoom is right up here in the toolbar. The toolbar is this bar that runs across the very top, and you can see that I'm at 190% magnification right now. If I click on the little arrow to the right of that, I can choose one of these preset magnifications. I can also just double click in here and type any number that I want. Um, at the bottom of these magnifications, I've got some some little bit different ones. Page width, which makes it so that the page is exactly as wide as the window. Um, I've also got whole page. There you can see I can see my whole page now laying on there. Um, and then I've also got two pages. Now that won't do anything right now because I only have one page here. But if I had more than one page in my document, it would make them small enough to see two of them side by side. Now I personally like to work in page width. Uh, because that way I you know, can see my whole document, not to worry about scrolling to see things in it uh, as far as side to side, but I also have it nice and big when I'm working on my screen. But however you want to work with it is up to you. One nice thing about page width though is if I resize my window, and I can resize that by just clicking on any of the edges at the top or bottom, you'll see that as I drag this left or right there, it's actually adjusting the magnification so that it stays page width. So that's kind of nice. I can resize this as I need to if I need to put something on maybe a, an internet window to the right of that because I'm doing some research and it will automatically adjust that magnification. Right now you can see that I'm currently at 127 percent magnification. If I make this wider you'll see that goes to 168 because it's adjusting to keep that at page width. So those are the different zooms. We've also got a whole bunch of other buttons up here in the toolbar that we're going to be talking about as we go through these videos. Underneath that we have something called the ribbon. Now the ribbon is a very important part of Word. This has most of the, the options that we're going to be using in order to customize our page. Um, and you can see I've got tabs at the top of the ribbon, home, layout, document elements, and so on and so forth. There are even some tabs that aren't showing now that appear later as we're working with special elements. Uh, and you'll see those as we go through the videos as well. Underneath the tab, this is the actual ribbon, this large section with all these buttons in it. Um, and you'll see that as I click a different tab, now I'm seeing all the buttons that have to do with layout. Now I'm seeing all the buttons that have to do with document elements. Back on home, I'm seeing the most commonly used buttons uh, that they've decided to put on the home page. So that is the ribbon. Now if I click the home button again, you'll see it actually collapses the ribbon entirely. So if I ever go in here and I, I, I don't see the buttons that I'm supposed to be working with, just click on one of these tabs again. So I'll click home and you'll see it just expands it out for you again. Okay, so that is the ribbon and we will be working with the ribbon a lot during these videos. 
Another thing I want to talk about in, in this general overview of Word are the different views that we have available. You've got six buttons down here in the lower left, and these are the different views. Right now we're on a view that's called Print Layout View. Um, print Layout View is, is the default view, like I said earlier, and honestly, it's my favorite one to work in. Um, it's got, like I said, it just looks like a piece of paper. So as you see it is as it's going to print. Really easy to understand how things are going. The other views, though, if we go to the very left, this first button here is what's called Draft View. In Draft View, I don't see a, a visualization of my page. I more just see it as a big blank white sheet. Um, and as I type, it's gonna scroll down on there. This was the original view for most word processors, including Word. So a lot of people that have been working with word processors for a long time really like this view a lot just because it's what they're used to. So this view or the, the page layout view we were on are the, are the two that you would use for writing a paper. The other views are more specific Specialized. They're going to be for very specific purposes, but but between page layout view and draft view It's really personal preference what you're going to use for a paper. Okay The other views that we have we have outline view which we're not going to talk too much about in these videos But I'll show you where you can learn more about that and this is just for creating an outline So you've got special tools here for you know indenting out denting and laying things out in an outline view just to the right of that, we have publishing layout view. This is for creating things like newsletters or posters. So this is actually quite different from your normal word view. And in reality, you guys are gonna be learning in later classes, the program InDesign. Um, think of this as sort of a every person's or layman's InDesign. When you're wanting to do this sort of thing, you're going to want to go to InDesign to do it. So we're not going to really spend any time on here, but if you want to play around with it, I'll show you where you can get some information a little later. Um, to the right of that, there's the print layout view, which was the default again. To the right of that, we have one called notebook layout view, which is a very fun view, actually. Uh, it's for taking notes, as you would imagine. You've got some section tabs over here on the right. Uh, an ability to, to you know label it at the top really great for if you're in a meeting or if you're in a class and want to have a, a nice organized note-taking solution um, and then the last one to the right of that is focus view and focus view it's not gonna let me do that because I'm in the notebook view let's go back to the regular focus view actually just fills the entire screen with your document so you can see here that all I see is black and my page if I want my options I can go to the very top of the screen and they'll pop down the most common ones I use so the idea is to get the distractions out of the way and be able to just focus on what you're writing to get out of focus view I can bring down my options and just click exit right over here or I can just tap escape on my keyboard and escape on my keyboard just took me out of the focus view so those are my different views. Um, again, the only ones you're gonna use for writing a paper are gonna be print layout view or draft view depending on your preference, but the others are quite fun as well.